the books you won't put down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since his controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The books can't stay on the shelf. Grab the series, The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1978, and The House of Lazenberry, A Time to Hill. Link in the description box. That we've had in a very long time. And he Absolutely. has the voice of a lot of people. You talk about high school locker rooms. You talk about middle school. You talk about NFL, NBA locker rooms. They're playing mm-hmm. his brother in them. He's influential. I think he was on Billboard. I forgot what interview he did, what publication he did it with. But he talked about the damaging effects of his music and how mm-hmm. he had to change that because he's seen that they were playing with him. They, he, they, they were messing with him. They were putting this stuff in his head and doing these things to make him give this damning information to our youth. And he had to change and he would vow to change. Now, there's been other people in podcasts saying that he was full of shit and that it's not true. And you can have your opinion because obviously you got to you could talk it, but you got to walk it. Right. But what did you think? Because I thought it was I, I I thought it was. I don't, I don't even know what a word to put. The Revolution guy, you it. Facts. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and expound on that, brother. No one on any podcast who discredits, attacks, or downplays that brother for taking responsibility for our people should be taken seriously about any damn subject they discuss. Mm. I will say, don't you ever talk down on a black man for standing up and taking responsibility for his words, his actions, and his people and people in general. That brother opened his mouth being a father of, I believe, 11 children now. Yeah. He sees what his hat was doing to his children. He's looking at his children. He's looking at the women in his life. He's looking at all the people he's influencing. And he's thinking, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm a father. Yeah. See, y'all know, you know I, I believe either one or both of you have children. Y'all know. Yeah. yeah. It's a different world now when you have another life that you have to take care of. A, a young life. It's yeah. pure. It's different. Mm-hmm. You got to grow up fast and you start looking at the world in a completely different manner now. He has 11 transitional periods of time where he had to wake up every damn time mm-hmm. he had to pop out of this thing and look and be like wait a minute wait 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 wait, wait, wait. hold on <laughs> yeah my baby right here mm-hmm. i got another baby and another baby yeah that start to slap you into present time yeah you start to wake up like hey hey hey, hey. is this the world you want to create for them mm. and that's when you start to really go to yourself and go to god and start answering some real questions so no one who talks down on him for doing that should be taken serious because this drama thing that the internet has created where people can have their opinion taken as fact, people can have lots of mouths running yeah. with no actual fact, no experience whatsoever, and it affects people's lives in reality, but you ain't going around looking at and helping and involving yourself with the people who are listening to the things you say it. You ain't the cleanup crew. You're not the waste management engineers. You're not the trash men and women. You create the problem from the top. It comes down to the bottom, and we are the ones who have to clean this crap up. That's how you know most of the people who are talking are not involved in the community because they do not really listen to what the hell they're saying. You don't. So when he did what he did, that did more positive, I would say, for the rap game, for the, the I would say, the a little more watered down version of hip hop, which is today, because it's not as pure as it was. But what we do have today, it did more for that. It did more for young rappers who have families, even the, the more seasoned older rappers listen to that. They was like, wait a minute. Yeah. What did he just say? Mm-hmm. Because he had more courage to say what people who probably made 10 times more than him could. Mm. Why did it why did why did it have to come out of NBA young boys' mouth? Right. Like, come on now. Why couldn't it come out of none of y'all? Why? What's yeah. what's different? That brother woke up because he has all those lives to look after now directly in his own personal life. And then he has all the other children he's looking at, all the other families and people. So that was by far one of the greatest displays of maturity and responsibility that a black man could ever display at this time. Right. I, I applaud that brother. No, he's not perfect. Absolutely. But so the hell what? He's trying to make up for the past crap. And he wants to make a world that's at least safe enough for his children. That's the mm. best thing you could ever do. That That's gangster, for real. Yes, sir. So I applaud that, brother. Yeah. I, my last question, I want to ask you about uh, the Grammys. Um, as far as, like, people talking about the satanic, you know, symbolism <laughs> and the rituals and things like that. Do you feed into that stuff? Or what's your <laughs> thoughts on that? Because everybody's telling me about that. Oh, you know, satanic, this, that. And mm-hmm. What's your thoughts you on know, that? Man. What I love, uh, man, I, what I love is that people are starting to wake up 
you know, there are many who had certain levels of knowledge before we stepped into knowledge, you know, yeah. all of us stepped into knowledge itself and, and started to learn the truth or woke up when we did. Um, I don't like when people make it seem as though they were always aware. They were always conscious. No, none of right. us were always <laughs> conscious. All right, let's, let's <laughs> kill that noise here. <laughs> all right. For the reason was not always conscious. But now people are starting to say it more and more because it's revealing itself more and more. It's always been this. <laughs> mm. So we got to get through our head. The mm. Grammys? You mean a plagiarized version of Pata, the award that they even hold up? Yeah. Mm. Dang. What are you talking about? They said, oh, they got it from someone's uncle. No, that is a plagiarized version of, of Pata. It goes back to ancient Egypt, ancient Kemet. So let's start there. You, you, you're lying. You're still stealing. You're still stealing. All right. That's, that's that. <laughs> then you go into rewarding people for doing the most degrading things that don't help to benefit anybody. It's not the freedom of thought. It's not freedom of expression. It's not, oh, my truth. No, it's you're literally pushing people to worship Satan. You got on a devil horns. You're covered in blood like paint to make it look like you're sacrificing people. You're eating babies. You, this stuff is disgusting. There's yeah. nothing creative about it. If there's no artistic anything about it. It is pure satanic evil witchcraft. That's what it is. Now, the reality is, should you be a part of it or not? Mm. That's the question that every artist has to ask themselves. Is it worth it or not? Mm -hmm. What is this going to do down the line? One major thing that people are not looking at is how is this going to affect you and the people down the line? And this brings us into the arena of where artists start to look at themselves as whether or not they're leaders. I'm an artist. I'm not a leader. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Grammys or I'm going to perform at the Grammys or any one of these award shows that do this kind of stuff. Man, I'm just doing me. No, you, you're not because you would do that at home in the mirror if it was just for you. Mm. All of what you're doing is for everyone else. And if you get that through your head, then that means what you put out is going to affect how people think and affect what people do. And if what they're doing, you don't like, you don't appreciate that it's happening with people's children, their families and all that, then maybe you should stop doing what the hell you're doing and start taking some responsibility. The Grammys, along with pretty much all of those award shows, are the European way of celebrating the gods that they worship. Mm. That's all it is. <laughs> it's not, it has <laughs> nothing to do with, yay. We love your art. No, it's it's really not that. Not in essence, it isn't. They just started to kind of add that in there later on to cover up the real essence of what it is. Mm. <laughs> so it's it's just like, come on, y'all. You know, it, yes, yes, it's satanic. Well, my last point on that, I would just say is mm. start building your own awards and focus on our own. Yeah. Like, just do that. It's like when they came out, the Oscars so white. Russell Simmons came out with the All Deaf Digital Awards to protest the Oscars. Mm -hmm. And he gave out awards to Ice Cube and Terry Crews and uh, Marlon Wayans and all of them. They, it was, they did that. Okay, so let's stick with that. You know, we have the money, we have the capability, we have the studios, we, we do. So yeah. let's just do our own thing and stop complaining and crying when Satan is having a party at his damn house and you keep going. <laughs> <Real talk. laughs> <laughs> Facts on that. We definitely appreciate your time, Rizzo yeah. Islam, on the Hip Hop Essential Podcast. We respect it. We appreciate it, and we definitely got to do it more. Can't be Absolutely. two years um till the next time we talk to you. I got one more question as well, real quick, before we get out of here. And I want to backtrack to what you were talking about in regards to handlers. And you said something about athletes that was real poignant to me, because we often on this platform, we, I mean, it's got to keep it a hundred. We criticize some of the athletes and entertainers for not building hospitals, for not building grocery stores, mm -hmm. for not doing these things for the community. We ask ourselves why, when they have all this money, when we see an NBA stars getting into billionaire status faster than ever, why aren't they doing it? And then you said the handlers prohibit them. So that made me go, whoa, are we giving them fair criticism or is it deeper than we really even understand? Can they do the things? Do they want to? And are they even able to? That was the your your answer was in your last question. Do they want to? And can they see you have the handlers? That's one side of it. But you have to consent to even having a handler. Mm -hmm. You got to consent, meaning you have to agree to go along with this. So now the other side is on you. It's on you. Okay, I'm afraid, man. I don't want them to do this. I don't want them to say this. Okay, then fear is what's stopping you. You letting fear stop you. For what? Like, what's the point now? It's 2023. You're telling me you're afraid to build something for your people because you're afraid of 
what the news media might come out and say about you or what the enemy might try to use against you or whatever, then what the hell are you doing in the first place? Mm. What are you doing? What's the point of being an artist? What's the point of being an athlete? Just so you can be a rich slave, get some money for you and your few family members and say, sorry, y'all, you know, hey, get it how you can, y'all. I got it how I did. No, you made money based off of the people who love your talent, who paid to see you shine. You have to pay the people back. Ain't none, of, none of them are self-made. None of us are self-made, bro. I can't stand when people say this. The people gave you their lifeblood, their hard-earned money. You're talking about the people who are the people that work at warehouses, the security guards, the people who work for the trash companies, people who are working in, at McDonald's. They paying their hard-earned money to buy your damn shoes, your jerseys, to go watch you at these games, to watch you do you because they love what you do. And you turn around and take all that money and just say, hey, man, it's just me and my family, man. Forget all y'all. Y'all got to do what you got to do. No. Have some courage to sacrifice for the people like the people sacrifice for you. Have some courage because your damn handler can only go as far as you let them. If you tell mm -hmm. that your handler should go straight to hell and go back to the enemy that sent you. <laughs> yeah. That's a different conversation. So get some courage, man. At this point. We only a slave because we choose to be.